In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the advanced features with our brush tool. So in addition to some of the standard brush tips that I have here, I can actually take a look at some of the other brush tips that are available. And these are the same ones that are available with the eraser tool, but they load as a paintbrush. So I've got a lot of different options that I can load here inside of my brush palette. You know, some really creative uh, brushes if I wanted to create some designs. This works really well when I'm creating something that you know has to do with nature or some different shapes that I might want to that I might want to load. And each of these load as all of the shapes inside of this category. So I don't just choose the one shape. I let's say I wanted to load these shapes inside of my paintbrush palette. I just simply say add then all of these are added now down here. These are all available. So if I wanted to, let's say, paint that shape, I wanted that shape to be blue, and I could see right now that it comes in a pretty big size. So I could always change the diameter. And if I wanted to paint that there, I could continue to paint whatever shape there is inside of these palettes. And you'll see that this right here is the size of the pixels. So I may choose to adjust the diameter before I even get myself back inside of my uh, canvas. So once I have these loaded and I can continue to load more if I wanted to, I can just continue to add these. And let's say I have a, a, a palette that I wanted to keep. I could actually save this palette set and I could save this to my H drive, I could save this to my Google Drive and then I could always come back in the next day rather than trying to load all of those individual shapes again I could just load the entire set. One last thing which is kinda cool is I could actually create my own custom brush as well. So I can click on create brush. I have a few different types here that I can start from and I could change the radius, I can change the hardness, the aspect, I could change the amount of spikes that are on here, I can change the angle and then the amount of uh, spacing at times depending on the uh, the shape and uh, some of my other selections will allow me to change the way that this looks. So if this is the shape that I want to add for my custom brush I can just click OK and then I have my custom brush down here as well. So if I wanted to create some custom brush tips and I didn't want to have to go back in every single time and make those same brushes I could just load those into my uh, save those and then load those the next time I want to use them. So a lot of cool brushes that I can add and use uh, inside of my brush tool.